Can I ask about the cause of this condition? You can get face blindness from a stroke, right? Can you get it from a tumor? Uh, yes, yes, and um, I, I mean from a, or a head injury or whatever affects a particular part of the brain. And uh, uh, he, he was born at home and has all wondered, haven't you, yeah. whether when he was delivered that maybe the forceps did, could you get, could this be an injury or an insult resulting in face blindness that when? Uh, it, it could be. I, um, I sort of, you know, it's, 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 it's impossible to be sure at this point. But, but I mean, there's... You can have my brain when I'm done with it. You can figure out what yeah. happened. Right? <laughs> um, but um, until very recently, face blindness was only used of people who'd had a tumor, a head injury, a stroke, an infection, whatever, and had knocked out uh, a small area in the, in the visual cortex. Uh, it's an area which can easily be, be identified by brain imaging, and people call it the, the fusiform gyrus, the fusiform face area. Uh, actually, there are a number of different face areas, and normally these connect up with memories of faces and things. So if you, if you get enough people who have been face blind and you can then see what's wrong with them up close and personal afterwards, do you find damage in a particular area? Yes, yeah, invariably. Um, but something which was not recognized until very recently and is still very insufficiently recognized is what Chuck and I have, which is lifelong face blindness and which is often strongly familial. And there, if you do... Strongly brain... familial, yeah. meaning genetic, perhaps? Yes. Uh, there's a Nakayama study of a family of 10. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, well, there may have been an 11th, but they couldn't get the information. Because <laughs> it was a little kid? Or they wouldn't uh, cooperate? Yeah, something like that. So of the 10 people in that family, nine of them, or maybe even 10, have face blindness. Yeah. All of them. Parents, kids, everybody. Uh, in your case, your brother? Um, yeah, I, um, I, I didn't think... I, I thought I was sort of not very good at faces. I never thought of it as a condition until I met my older brother, who had gone to Australia in 1950 and whom I hardly knew, and I found he, he also had to follow absolutely fixed routes in driving or he'd get lost. And when he saw patients, uh, his, uh, his assistant would have to sort of tell him beforehand, otherwise he might fail to recognize someone he'd seen a week before. And then I, my other two brothers, I think, were fine, but I think my eldest brother and I have something so, um, so congenital, congenital face blindness might be inherited, might not, but probably is? Well, no, I mean, uh, well, there could be a mutation or, I mean, the very word congenital almost implies inherited. What about the, going the other way? People in the audience presumably are thinking, uh-oh, I now start to do that. I didn't used to, but now I do. Is this in any way face blindness associated with aging, with Alzheimer's, with falling apart? Or do you, if you have it early, will you keep it? Uh, can, in other words, can you catch this? Um, the, um, uh, I mean, if one gets Alzheimer's or some other conditions, everything, alas, can, can fall apart. Um, but uh, um, most people retain facial recognition, and for that matter, musical recognition, until, until their dying day.